Yes. Okay, then here is a question from Rob Gore. Hey, Rob Gore. Oh, I have set up a PC with Windows 7 and Linux. Oh, oh. Windows 7 and Linux. Okay. <laughs> So give him a heart attack. You've got to be careful, man. You've got to say, I set With up a Linux, Linux and computer. Windows 7. Oh, and by the way, I happened to also put Windows on there for games or something. I don't know. For, what do you use Windows for? games for or something, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just whatever. <laughs> In Windows 7, I want to be able to disable all USB ports apart from one that will be used for the USB receiver for the keyboard and mouse. I know that you can edit the registry to disable the USB, but I believe that will disable them all. Do you know of any way that mm. you can select which USB ports to disable any program available that you know of? Uh, yeah, you could use, um, uh, specifically, you could use Endpoint Protector from endpointprotector.ca. We had Bogdan Oros on the show, and we talked about it. It specifically allows you to shut down um, parts of your computer, USB ports, for example, specifically. Um, whether or not that's necessary, is it so that people can't plug in an external hard drive? Because you say you want to still be able to use your mouse. And that's the problem. If you And I just booted up a virtual machine here, so we're going to take a look. If you were to disable all your USB ports, guess what? You can't enter your password to log into the computer anymore because you have no keyboard. Um, if it's for hard drives, for example, that's probably the scenario here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You don't want people to be able to plug in a flash drive and copy files. You don't want them to be able to um, install um, stuff from a flash drive or plug in an external hard drive and things like that. If that's the case, then we, we're going to take a different approach. We wouldn't just remove specific ports, or we wouldn't turn off ports, we would just turn off the drivers that allow USB mass storage. Uh, and that is a registry key, but it's extremely, extremely simple, and I want to show you how easy, that, in fact, that is. I'm just booting up this virtual machine that Becca and I created a little while ago. Uh, it's an image of the laptop. It wants me to activate Windows. I'm not doing that because it's just <laughs> for the test. But it, it is going to let me in, so forgive the fact that it is showing as a... Uh, an unlicensed copy. It's not those of you who have watched the show know that it was there just as a test. Okay, but let's go into our reg editor because I don't want you to be afraid of doing this because it's it's super super easy. Uh, always back up your registry, Rob Gore, and any viewer who's watching this. I'm just exporting so that you see that yes, that's the first thing that he did was export his registry. Okay. Looks like I'm already there. Local machine, uh, then system, current control set, control. No, I want to go to services. And in services, you'll see one called USB store. This is how we're going to get rid of the storage driver. And this will actually work quite, quite well for you. I'm going to post the, all the info in the show notes for episode number 317. USB store. There it is. Okay, so there is uh, a particular key here called start. And that is, you know, when somebody plugs in a drive, what do you want to do? Three is the default. It means basically it's going to mount the drive. Four is we're going to disable the ability to plug in USB drive. So now if I hit OK, now if I actually reboot my computer, now if I plug in... USB mouse, it's going to work just fine. If I plug in a USB flash drive, it will do absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the question, Rob Gore. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.